April 13th, we had no idea that our lives were going to change forever. This was Sadie the day before the attack. Hi, everybody. Um, and after. Yesterday, I got attacked by the bull. He broke my arm and he ate my foot and stuff. And I was angry. Everyone, I'm okay. I had stitches on my forehead. And, um, I love you all. And I came out of surgery yesterday night and I did it was good. They um, had to fix my bone because it popped up and I just wanted to do it. So, yeah, I love you guys. Please send up prayers for me. She's in my... See, but his box is on my arms and they're like... The cats, so yeah, I can't say yes. But, um... I love you guys and... Huh. Um... I don't want to talk to me, just... Um, comment. And I'll talk. Bye. This was Sadie when we first got to the hospital. She was very upset and traumatized by what happened to her. It was very hard for her to adjust to being in the hospital, but she tried to make the best of it. I would remind Jaseda to be positive and to not let things get her down. We decided to make an Instagram channel to help build awareness of dogs and their mental health during COVID. We were told that there's been a 50% increase in dog attacks all over the United States. Dogs are not used to us being at home, so make sure you give them some private time. Educate yourself and learn as much as you can about your animals during COVID because they matter too. We hope to build awareness off of our channel and let others get to know us through our journey. This clip is from when Jaseda had got out of her last surgery and had her cast put on. One of her arms were broken, the growth, per the growth bones were broken and out of place. She may potentially need several more surgeries. She also loved taking pictures with all the nurses and was ready to spend time with the dogs when she got home. I'm so proud of my daughter. She has tried to make the best out of this accident. It is hard for her sometimes, mentally, physically, emotionally, but she still tries her hardest to make the best of it. I try to remind her of how beautiful she is every day and how she is going to have a crazy story to tell to others one day. So we decided to start this YouTube channel to build awareness and to inspire others because we've been through a lot of different things in our life. This image shows the pins in her arm that they were getting ready to remove that day. That was a very hard day for her as well. The images you're seeing now is a few weeks after the attack. Well, maybe a month, a little after a month of the attack. It took some time for them to heal. This was the front right forearm, which that was the arm that was broken. She inspires me every day with her ability to do what she knows how to do best is to learn how to deal with it and cope with the accident. But she gets it from her mama. Just kidding. No, she really does get it from her mama. She enjoys animals and loves animals and is in hopes that she will be able to own her own dog one day, the same kind that attacked her. I don't like sharing the dog. Um, I don't feel good really. I just want to let everyone know that you can do anything. You can get to do anything, I promise. Yeah, um, 
Mm, he was trying to kill me. But I survived, so you can survive anything too. I just wanna put that out there. But I have to go because my nurse is coming soon. Yeah, um, some prayers up for me, please. Love you all. If you wanna talk to me, just add me on Snapchat. It does not okay. matter what kind of dog you have, they all matter. It's time for me to roll out. Please subscribe.